Class, thank you for joining me once again for another thrilling episode of In 5 Minutes or Less. Today's topic is a topic I just simply cannot believe I need to cover in today's environment. Nonetheless, it is a topic that needs mentioning because there are a bunch of people running around who don't seem to get this very basic, very most simple concept. And the concept, of course, the topic of today's discussion is association versus causality. So what are these things? Association is this associates with that. Causation is this causes that to occur. They are not the same thing. And the reason that I'm stunned that I have to mention this is because everybody who's done five minutes of study in science knows this. It's the first thing you're taught in the first half an hour of the first morning of your first undergraduate degree. Association does not establish causality. And then we still have people, even with multiple advanced research degrees, running around using epidemiology, which is associative, to make assertions about how people should amend their behavior and making cause and effect inferences. But I'll cover epidemiology in particular on another day. I just wanted to talk very, very clearly about this topic at its most basic level so that everybody understands exactly what it is that's going on when we say this association is not causality statement. Well, let's have an analogy. Here it is on the screen. On the x-axis, which is the one going left to right, the, uh, the horizontal axis, if you like, we have the sale of ice creams at a beach resort on any given number of days where data was collected on the sale of ice creams. The number of ice creams sold determines where the data point goes on the left to right on the chart on any given day. On the y-axis, the straight up and down, the vertical axis, what we have is another outcome variable, which is number of cases of sunburn reported to the first aid people at the beach that day. Okay, and what we see is a strong, positive, and clear prediction between the number of ice creams sold on any given day and the number of cases of sunburn reported to and treated by the people in the medical tent at the beach resort. Hmm, right. So, there we have a clear case of association. These two things do associate. However, I am yet to see any evidence that the cause of sunburn is ice cream. Because it isn't, is it, boys and girls? No. There's another confound in between. It's a chain where you would say, well, okay, both sunburn and the sale of ice creams might be causally connected to a third completely different factor that we haven't even looked at here. That being the hotness of the day, the directness of the sunlight, the lack of wind, if that was the case. All sorts of things play into whether or not somebody ends up getting sunburned at the beach. And it's probably got nothing to do with whether they bought ice cream and ate ice cream or whether they didn't, basically. So when you see these ridiculous studies that say this is associated with that, the correct, scientifically valid, robust response to anybody who puts anything like that in front of you, the first question is, so? So what if this correlates with that? Does this cause that? Can you show me an experimental study that links those two things causally? No? We're done. Okay. What's next? All right, there you go. So there it is in five minutes or less. Association versus causality. Not the same thing. Should not be used as the same thing. You should not make inferences around that. It's inappropriate. It's anti-science. It's ridiculous. All right, join me next time for another quick fire lightning round of in five minutes or less.